Hello, this is David Dean, and I was so excited about the new, um, just amazing sniper rifle that came into the event store. Um, and one thing about this, a lot of people have been posting, I'm not sure if it is a bug or it's supposed to work this way, but if you put a sniper defender with this sniper rifle and box that um, sniper totally in, um, this rifle, the sniper rifle will shoot through those walls, which is really weird because this thing is built to destroy walls. And <laughs> so, not sure what's going on there, but right now, yeah, a defender with this sniper rifle can shoot through the walls if you box them in. But what I was not paying attention to is what came in for the llamas. Um, we have now the legendary troll loot truck llamas. Um, there is two of them, and they are, in my opinion, the best use of your V-Bucks. Um, the biggest bang for the buck. So I am going to go ahead and open up um, two of those, and then open up uh, my Blockbuster Llamas, and see what we got there. And let's see what we get. Hopefully we get a Mythic. I could use one or two more. So, But no, the um, new Sniper Rifle is just super powerful, great at long range, horrible at close range. So just um, take those words of warning, but I definitely am enjoying the new weapon. But all right, a bunch of blockbuster tickets, survivors, always needs more survivors, do not like the zap zap pistol, and keep them coming. Jeez, been seeing baseball bats everywhere. All right, um, bullet storm. And with Cozy Campfire, really not worried about that. Let's get through this. Um, Defender, really doesn't matter. Not going to be using either one of them. So let's keep it going. And um, if you haven't seen my videos before, as far as Defenders, the only ones I really ever keep are the Legendary Snipers. And actually, that is a great um, sniper rifle right there. And then we got the Space Invader pistol. Which is interesting. Ooh, Room Sweeper. That is an absolutely amazing weapon. It will eat okay, through shotgun ammo in a heartbeat, but just does an insane amount of damage extremely fast. Mm. And let's keep it going. So we get some more Blockbuster tickets. Um, Power Base is one of my absolute favorite constructors in the game right now, mainly if you're doing the big builds. Got grenade launcher, hammer shot, razor wire, keep them coming. Alright, another space pistol, wall launcher. Loving the survivor, and that survivor has the trap durability, and since I solo my storm shield defenses, that's usually a big deal. But on this account, I've already fished up all the storm shield defenses. And what do we got here? We got legendary, legendary lead survivor. And Legendary Trap. I am sitting good on traps. Let's go ahead and grab the Legendary Lead Survivor. And really just need Mythic Leads right now. Commander um, Spitfire. A uh, decent soldier. And we got ourselves another Sniper Rifle. Not one of my favorites. But still a decent one. And I really don't care what I get between um, the axes. There's nobody who really specializes in them right now. But Epic has gone out of their way to try to improve the amount of damage melee. That is great. I will have to check to see if I need that type. And let's see. So he is to, to Marksman lead, um, and Personality Adventurous. And let's hop over. Wow, we have nine of these now. So we got a, quite a few of the Blockbuster ones to get through. Um, main thing I'm looking for here is the Whisper Pistol is really just an amazing pistol to have, mainly if you have the um, Ranger Deadeye, or if you have one of the new heroes with the lefty-righty perk that um, every Husk skilled with a pistol um, increases or decreases the recharge time of lefty-righty. But let's get back into this. Hmm. And really don't care about either one. We'll grab the Outlander. Why not? And keep moving on. Come on. Give us something good. 
but on that to, to here we go so these are the new heroes that were with the blockbuster demolitious demolitionist wow i cannot talk penny and double agent um double agent i really want this one be mainly for her bonus perk gives you the cluster bomb effect to your grenades and i really need that for carbide so keep pressing on here. Uh, another weapon I am really looking for is the Spectre. It's um, pretty much <laughs> similar to the Siege Breaker and the Nocturno everybody loves. And there I got it as an epic. Hopefully we'll get it as a legendary. And hopefully I don't have many re-perks on this account. So hopefully I get the perks I want on it. But just going through this, I do love the new sniper rifle in the vent store right now. The ground pounder, I've had one or two people say they really like it. I was not that impressed with it. I thought there was other shotguns out there like the long, long arm shotgun to me, which was just um, a better shotgun for mid range. And of course for close range, I love my Thunderbolt. And we've got the bald eagle that is out with this event, the bald eagle. Um, I don't know. Another pistol, some people love it, other people hate it. It does massive damage, kind of fires slow. Um, I'm not that impressed with it, but yeah, if you want to take out a um, Husky Husk or Smasher pretty fast, Bald Eagle is not a bad way to go. But there we go, we got the Whisper. And hopefully we get some decent perks on that. I already have one leveled up on this account with um, Nature on it. And if you do not have a good pistol, Whisper is definitely one to go for. I really haven't heard anyone complain about it. So keep it going. And nothing good out of that one. Hopefully we'll get a few of the other heroes. We also have a construct constructor who specializes in decoy and explosive weapons. And a um, ninja who specializes in throwing stars and spears. So, what do we got? We got another Whisper. Alright, I'm um, going to grab this one just because I might need it for the collection book. But yeah, Crossbow was the number one thing I was hoping for when this event came out. And then I got one, leveled it up, and I just was not happy with it. Just right now, there is a lot more better sniper rifles out there to use that I would much rather use than the Crossbow. Including the one currently in the event store. Come on, there we go, legendary, oh, crossbow, what we were just talking about. But hey, you can still recycle it. And there we go. So let's see what we ended up here. Looking at all bald eagle. Um, damage dealt with this weapon snares the target by 30% for six seconds. Got mist monsters, physical damage. Um, not too bad of perks on it, but like I said, I just think there's better pistols out there. For the ceiling electric field, this is a great trap. It will always be nature though, so it's going to do much, much less damage against fire, but it's going to do great damage against water elementals. Um, got damage, reload damage, and crit damage, and heals attached buildings. Not too worried about that, but still a um, decent trap. I would say my favorite ceiling trap is the gas trap, and I max that one out and then be leveling this one up. The crossbow, as I said, I really did not enjoy this weapon as much as I thought I would. Um, the targeting on it, if a husk is standing still or coming directly at you, the targeting isn't bad, but if they're walking diagonal, it um, the quiver or the quill goes much slower than a bullet. And so you have to learn how to lead the target correctly. And since you're constantly changing back from the crossbow to a regular um, range weapon, to me it just wasn't worth it most of the time. The Deathwing, this is a sniper rifle. It puts has a good rate of fire, a good magazine size, but it's not doing that much damage and there's just better sniper rifles out there. I already talked about the ground pounder. Um, just to me, it's an average medium range shotgun. The one shot, this is one of my favorite true sniper rifles. Um, and this one, I got five headshots in a row, increased range weapon damage. That is nice, but I'm really loving the current six perk of if you get a headshot kill, 
you get an explosion that does 30% damage in that um, area. And so I would probably not be leveling this one up. Axes, there's no way he specializes in that. Room Sweeper. Let's see. Hi ah, geez. And I just said how I wanted this perk, but I wanted this perk on a sniper rifle. Um, the Room Sweeper is not a precise weapon. <laughs> this thing is just, as the name implies, you are just spray and pray and doing massive, massive damage, but not super accurate. So it's not the best um, sixth perk to have on there. The Space Invader Pistol, high tech, rapidly fires lasers that bounce off walls, are effective at long range, and can pierce through multiple enemies. Deals energy damage that is fairly effective against elemental enemies. That is all great. Um, and to, this can be a good weapon to use in tunnels where you got a bunch of husk all lined up coming at you and you can use that piercing shot to take out quite a few. It does use energy ammo. Um, supposedly in the game they've upped energy ammo where it's much easier to get now. So I really need to go back and kind of test this thing out a second time. Um, the Thumper, which is basic, um, just a grenade launcher. Um, nice to have, but they have given us so many amazing um, grenade launchers and RPGs. Um, this one has kind of fallen to the wayside. Um, Tiger Jaw is a good steady shotgun for mid-range. I definitely enjoy using it. Um, wall Spikes never bothered with always end up recycling really not worth it in my opinion and the whisper what I get and see this is a precise weapon so having the headshot eliminations cause explosion on it is a great thing to have on it because you're going to be doing a lot of headshots on this one um, I got crit damage reload as I said I'm going to be doing a lot of headshot damage so I want that and actually I'm going to put if I do level this one up, I would change it out to just damage. So make sure every time I get that headshot kill, I get that explosion as powerful as possible. And that's what we got for weapons. Going, whoop, we were just there. Going over to heroes. We ended up with a lot of familiar ones, but the new one is the double agent. And this double agent is main focus is I wanted her cluster bomb support perk releases six cluster explosions around the impact sites they each do 12.5 percent of the original damage and it cannot stack so I can't use this on my um, mythic master grenader but I can use this on carbide and um, urban assault soldiers which really is going to increase the damage they are putting out with their grenades and she is actually a decent hero to use. Um, she has the lefty and righty, the new perk that's been out for a little bit now. And she is um, increased weapon reload speed by 35%. Um, lefty and righty do debilitating shots, making the target more vulnerable to damage. Has the frag grenades, lingering pain, now the debilitating shots are doing more. Wears lefty, eliminating enemies with a pistol, reduces the cooldown time of lefty righty. And that is the huge drawback on lefty righty. It has a huge um, recharge time of um, 150 seconds, but it does massive damage. So having this perk that allows you to decrease the reload speed is a big deal. And that's probably why if you're using this hero, you want to be using pistols to take down targets. Um, grenades, every 20 kills with a ranged weapon, grants one frag grenade so now no if you're killing with pistols you are reducing lefty and righty cooldown time and you're regenerating um, grenades faster you don't have to do this one with pistols but you might as well double up you got shockwave which is great for clearing out husk all around you and then of course the cluster bombs on your grenades just do amazing amounts of damage and then finally dealing damage with lefty and righty causing an explosion that deals 6,700 energy damage in a half tile radius. That is awesome. So a really um, good hero. Um, I'm not sure if she's up there with Urban Assault. That's going to be personal opinion for a lot of people. And um, also I'm loving Carbide right now and the fact that I can put her in a support squad for him is definitely gonna make him even more powerful. 
so there you go hopefully you got some amazing things from the legendary um, troll truck llama and take care and have an amazing day